Hey guys, this is Danx87. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lightsaber. And here is my example. This model can change color with the player's profile. So if they've chosen a blue profile like mine, it turns blue. If you choose, say, a yellow profile, the lightsaber will be yellow. Red for red, and pink for pink, and whatever color you decide. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a tag, opacity tweaker, selector, and a blaster handle. Much the same as the Epic Guns tutorial, we're going to make the lightsaber in the same fashion. So we're going to be using lots of um, decoration mounts, and for most of it, we're just going to be using a cylinder, as everything on the lightsaber can be used with a cylinder, bar the lighting. If you need more insight into how to make good looking power-ups, I suggest watching the Epic Guns tutorial I have up. It shows you how to use decoration mounts to make really good looking power-ups. And that's exactly what I'll be doing with this lightsaber. As I said before, we'll be using mostly cylinders, so I'm going to place the cylinder on the side in the middle of the decoration mount. With all decoration mount making of power-ups, it's a good idea not to stick anything together until the end. So only stick it together once, otherwise your player colour will actually become the colour of the decoration, which can be sometimes a little bit annoying. So if you only stick it once, then it keeps the same. So everything that you make as you go, you don't stick it until you're finished. Okay, so I'm just going to size up some things and make a lightsaber. Start off with a black cylinder. This will be the inside of the lightsaber and the top. Then I'm going to put a white one over the top, which is slightly thicker. Then I'm going to add some small other pieces of detail. I will be making the lightsaber I use in this tutorial available for you in game. It will be in my Epic Guns level on my planet. So just pop over there and you'll be able to pick it up as well as all sorts of AK-47s and things like that in my level. Search for Danx87 is actually Dan X 87 To have little lights on your lightsaber like they normally do, they have a little green or a little red light on it. You can place a light onto the face of a decoration mount and then what we want to do is shrink the decoration mounts thickness so that it is in out. We're going to stick it straight down to zero to start with which means it will actually be behind well inside it and then we're going to make the light smaller so to about 10% and then we're going to place it back over and then we're going to increase its in out until we can just about see it. So now we can see it, it's in the right place and we can leave it where it is. Up there is nice. Next up we need a way of holding it. What I'm going to do for this is use a normal blaster handle or a handle from your equipment, power up handle, and I'm going to angle it slightly so that it's facing upwards. And then I'm going to place it inside the lightsaber. We are going to get out our blaster power up handle and we're going to place that on top of the handle inside the power up. 
Then inside here we are going to add in a selector. Then we want our trigger to go into cycle the selector. Then we are going to add in a opacity tweaker. We're going to set the opacity tweaker to 0.0%. This will make it hide the handle that we put inside it so that it's no longer visible. We are going to make the lightsaber blade itself. So we're going to use another cylinder. I've just copied one from already inside the lightsaber. And we're going to extend its range and we're going to make it player color. So that will change it depending on the player's profile. We're going to make it slightly thinner in both in out and left and right, but we're going to make its length a lot longer. And we also want its input action to be in out, so forward and backwards. Next up I want to add some glow, so I'm going to use another decoration, which is the kind of beam of light. I'm going to stick that near the top on the face of the decoration mount, and I'm going to match it to the cylinder that we have. Again we want that to be the player colour, as we want the glow to be the same colour as the blade itself. Then we're going to place it upright and we are going to add on a light. This will give it its glow effect. So it actually impacts the atmosphere as well as yourself. It will give a little light off. can see this can be a little bit finicky but it's more than achievable. And we also want that light to be set to the player colour. Then we need the second output on the selector into the light and all of the decoration mounts um, inputs of the lightsaber blade. Sometimes the inputs can be a bit annoying if you've already sized them as you won't be able to get to the last one so you just have to stretch them back out again and so it reaches all the way to the bottom and then replace the output into it and then resize it back down again. All that's left to do is put the blade back into the lightsaber. I use front view for this. It gives you a really good angle to be able to accurately put it back on. For the sounds on, you place them into the second input, and for sounds off, you put them into the first input. We also don't need to see the light, so we go onto the light and we want to make that not visible in play mode. This last part, this is so that it can react with things in the environment. You can either use hologram or sticker panel, something invisible that has no collisions. And we are going to place it over the lightsaber blade itself. 
we also want it to be over the three layers that you have so you want the layer in the middle to be the lightsaber and the layer in front and behind to also be covered and then we want a tag on it and this will be a lightsaber so this is whatever reacts to any tags or impact sensors that you decide to use in your level meaning that your lightsaber can actually affect things around it obviously that needs to be also have from the output of number two in the selector there is nothing more to add to it so now we can stick it all together without any colorization problems one more other thing we need to set the blade minimum distance for everything as 0% so you need it on the blade and you need it on the shine of the blade so they should appear both as black decoration mounts both of those need a minimum distance of 0 and both of them need to be forward and backward input and the timings for both of the black decoration mounts should be around 0.2 as you don't want them slowly coming up you want them to be quite quick okay now we can test our lightsaber and here it is as you can see I can whack this little droid of mine and I'm able to whack him because I have put in an impact sensor that senses the blue tag along with a selector that changes between being scared and falling on the ground well I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial there's lots more to see on my channel uh, subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching. Cheers guys.